Hello, this is Lenny, aka Meteor Milton, back with another Fortnite Save the World video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what I have managed to accumulate in 336 days logged in. Now, why is 336 days logged in special? Well, it's not really that special, but you do get a thousand V-Bucks, and what it is, it is the last day before the cycle resets. So, after I collect this thousand V-Bucks today, tomorrow we reset all the way back to day one. It'll show day 337, but essentially the rewards set, uh, reset. So, right now, they, uh, the daily rewards go from day one to day 336, and then they reset, and you start back over. So I guess, what is that, day 672, I'll get another 1,000 V-Bucks. So anyway, let's quickly show you what I've managed to accrue after I collect my 1,000 V-Bucks. <clears throat> so yeah, that's $10 worth of V-Bucks. So real quick, before I show you what I've accomplished in that time, I'm going to tell you some quick things. So basically, I've reached max level. I did that months ago. Um... I have completed 3,445 zones. That means that's successful missions. Now there were probably there was plenty of failures in there along the way. So maybe we're talking about like 3,500 to 3,600 missions across. That's just on this account. I do have like 500 on my other account too. So we're probably talking about 4,000 missions total. But on this account, 3,445 zones completed. My collection books at level 226. I didn't really start focusing on that till recently. Um, 500,000 plus structures built, so I have that badge out of the way or that achievement out of the way. 100 gnomes destroyed. Got that a long time ago. Still working on the survivor save. So there's uh, the the accomplishment for that or the achievement for that is 10,000. So I'm at 6,750. So we're at 67 percent. Play with others 275. Most of those were when I first started playing. So I don't know if I'm ever going to get to a thousand play with others. We'll see. Maybe they'll make them more enjoyable in the future. 1,485 zones explored, so 15 more zones and I will be at 1,500, which is the threshold to get the banner for that. 300 chests open, got that a long time ago. Miss Monsters killed 20,000, so we got that a long time ago as well. And then, real quick, let's just go into, we'll just show you what I got real quick. So heroes, we got an expedition, let's just claim that really quickly. <clears throat> and we got our temp help, which is always a success, 10 people, cool beans. We have anything else worth running real quick nothing special so let's pass on that so real quick i'm going to show you my heroes so at this present time i'm only missing six heroes i miss it and i'll show them to you in a minute so i have 161 out of 167 heroes in the game all of them are maxed out all the all the mythics all the legendaries maxed out and then i also have so i have 161 legendaries and mythics maxed out i also have three epics Five, six rare, one and one uncommon. Now the reason these are leveled up is because I like the skins better than the max level skins. And then I also wanted to level up all the ones from the um, from the screen from the what is it from the loading screen. So I got a rescue trooper Ramirez, a tank Penny, shock specialist AC. I'm just missing Ken. I don't know which. I don't even know what his name is. Let's see because I never use him. I, don't, I think it's Fleetfoot Ken. Where is Mr. Ken? Yeah, Flea Flea Ken. So he's the other one from the loading screen. So I have... We'll, we can sh quickly show which ones I'm missing. Hopefully they're going to be coming out when the 9.0 update drops in a few days. And they would be... We got Blockbuster here. So I am missing Diecast Jonesy and Archaeolo Jess. Those are two I'm missing. I do have Chromium Ramirez. I'm not sure why she's not showing up as being eligible to be put in there. Then I'm missing Double Agent Elvelin, Undercover Vaughn, Saboteur Bull, Piercing Lotus Edge. Is that it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's a total of six heroes I'm missing. So now one thing you might say is, well, that's th there's not that many heroes in the game, but I do also have, let's see if we can find them. I have some X I have all the Xbox skins. So there's one soldier, one, one constructor, one ninja, one outlander that are Xbox skins. There's also the founder skins, so there's two for each one of the classes. Then there's also Twitch Prime skins, and the Twitch Prime skins, I believe, are both soldiers. So this is a Twitch Prime skin, Rescue Trooper Havoc. Uh, here's the two founder skins. Then we got Sub Commander Jonesy. I also leveled up both Skull Trooper Jonesy and Skull, Troop, Skull Ranger Ramirez, so those are basically duplicate skins. Um, who is the... There's a Shock, there's a shock Trooper, Shock something that's... Uh, Shock Trooper Renegade, I believe, is the Xbox skin. Let me see. Ah, nope, he's not the Xbox skin. Which one's the Xbox skin? Let's see. There's also PlayStation skins, so those are the only ones I'm missing. Yeah, so here's the Xbox skin. Xbox skins all have green. Um, 
I don't normally play as them. The only one I actually use on a regular basis is Trailblazer Jess, because she's actually a really solid hero. So there you go. She's got the uh, Xbox controller on her shirt, so and the X on the back, so she's pretty cool looking. And then, like I said, we got the Twitch Prime skins leveled up and the Founder skin. So like there, so there's like three Recon Scouts. Completely unnecessary to have them leveled up, but I figured why not because I had the rewards for it. Uh, defenders. I don't have a lot of defenders actually, so I have uh, two sniper, actually three snipers maxed out, one melee, and one rifleman, and then I got the, I have a I have the one twitch the which this is the founders one of the founders ones the gunslinger, and then I leveled this dude up because I thought I could uh, increase his rarity, but after I maxed him out, I realized you couldn't increase the rarity, but he does have triple melee, which is actually like probably the best thing you could get. Did not level up um, Jill yet because I don't know. I already had this guy, but I could certainly level her up in the future. For survivors, squads, we are completely maxed out with all the set bonuses in place. And I actually have, let me see, the one thing I was really going for was trap durability. So I do have 72% trap durability. I could make it higher because I also have, I think, like 80 something unslotted legendary skins. Or legendary survivors, sorry. So, like, all these legendary survivors unslotted that I could level up. Uh, and then I got a bunch of purples down here that are trap durability, just in case we get something like Frost Knight back or whatever, anything that will require to have a ton of trap durability. So it's pretty much the only thing I'm looking for. Um, we have the eight mythic leads here, these two extra, and then I have, a, I have, I think, all but five in the collection book. You can check real quick. So those are all filled out, unique survivors. Yeah, I have... Am I missing any, actually? These guys might all actually be... Um, I might be using most of these, I don't know. No, maybe I have them on my other account. So I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I don't think they're actually in my survivor squads, are they? Oh no, I do have them. I think I have all of them. I just don't have them all. Okay, so I could fill out the collection book, but I'd have to pull those mythics. But anyway, and I also managed to pull, manage to have one, a different personality for each one. I did have two of the same, and then I was like, forget, I'll just level them all up because, yeah, why not? Um, Obviously, all the upgrades are maxed out to level 6, whatever they go up to. Research completely maxed out a long time ago. What do we have in here? Uh, resources we can quickly show. I am a little bit poor in some of the areas, like Legendary Flux. Legendary Perk Up and Epic Perk Up, I haven't been using a lot of that lately. I was actually down to like single digits on both of those, but I have accrued a decent amount of those. We got, a, I got enough, I have enough evolution resources to max out the six heroes and still have plenty left over if I want to use it on weapons or any new heroes that come out. 44,000 gold since they converted the the daily t the daily coins into gold and you get 240 gold for each day you do your daily quest. So plenty of gold to buy anything. I also opened up like 250 mini llamas at one point just to get them cleaned up. Flux not that important. We have I have enough uh, rare and uncommon perk up to probably never have to buy it again. Got plenty of teammate boosts somehow, even though I use them all the time on other people and on my second account. Tons of amp up, fire up, and frost up. I'll probably never use all of that. 6.4 million hero XP. Um, I burned through I burned through millions and millions of that leveling up all the uh, tens of millions of it, honestly, leveling up all those heroes to 130. Because each hero to 130 is like 400,000, so. Let's, we can do some quick mess. If I got 161 maxed out times 400,000, that's 64.4 million hero XP just to get those guys up there. That's crazy. Plus, that doesn't even include the um, the epics. And I also have every, everything in my collection book that I have slotted, which I can show you shortly, is at least at level 10. Got some people resources, 18k reperk, not great, not terrible. 11 million schematic and 28.2 million survivor XP. Then we got the training manuals, so we're decent in all these categories. This is just silly. I, if they let us convert this, that would be fantastic. Or maybe I, maybe at some point they're going to let us increase our power level. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, that's just like a silly amount of um, XP, to be completely honest. I can't believe I have that much because I don't even go out of my way to look for it anymore. I just somehow, if I play, I manage to accrue hundreds of thousands, if not millions of it a week just by playing. Um, collection book real quick. Uh, anything special in here. So basically everything in here. I'm not going to show you everything because I don't think there's a point. Um, although I'm not sure why they're not check marks on some of these pages. Are any of them check marked? Personnel? We've got all the survivors in there. All these survivors. Oh, I'm missing one defender who I could slot. 
I already showed you the unique, unique leads. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, that's level 226. I could show you everything that's in here, but I don't, I don't think there's a point. I, all the Most of the base stuff I have in here, I would think, right? Oh, the reason they're not checked is I don't have everything shadow sharded in there yet. That's why they're not checked off. Uh, schematics. I have so many schematics. It's silly. So I don't have very many things at 130. Literally, the only reason some of these are at 130 was for Frost Knight. So the Bundle Boss, um, the old Betsy, the Wraith, those were for Frost Knight. Star Wars, then, I, then I started leveling up other stuff just for the harder missions we have now, but I honestly almost never use anything over 106 at this point. Um, but yeah, these are all the weapons we have. Lots of weapons at 106. I could make them 130, I just don't see a point because I don't really use them. Here's my little meme gun. So like just to show people that you don't have to have a, um, a 130 gun. People think you need 130s just to do like any mission in the game. You can actually do a lot of missions using a level 80 hand cannon if you're using Ranger Deadeye or any, any pistol focused setup. So yeah, there's that. Got lots of duplicates down here. I haven't leveled up yet. Um, one, I guess a couple I could show you are this stalwart squire I really like because each shot fire grants 3.5% shield for five seconds, stacks up to 10 times. So basically you're gonna get 35% extra shield constantly if you're shooting. So this is, the, this is the weapon I use when I'm running Bomb Squad Kyle. And it's very hard to actually lose your shield. Especially if you're using in a pinch with it, where it, which gives you shield back every time you reload and it only has one bullet. So there's that. The old Betsy's my favorite sniper. Bundle Boss, I think, is a lot of people's favorites. And obviously, the Wraith is probably the best long range AR in the game. Um, it's got tons of weapons in here. I think I have almost one of every weapon that I could level up if I wanted to. And then we got tons of stuff down here to recycle. Melees. I don't use melee a lot. I have the shovel, which I used for Frost Knight. And then a couple other weapons I level up just in case I'm playing melee heroes or the spears basically just for my defender because my defender does have spear buffs. The rest of these I use if I'm playing with ninjas but I don't really play that much as melee. Every trap I have that I actually would use is maxed out so they should all be legendary also I think at this point. Right, everything legendary. <clears throat> legendary, 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 legendary. This, these are... Actually, I did legendary that out too. That's pretty silly. <laughs> so other than the fire trap, I still do use blue wooden floor spikes most of the time. Then I have extra sets of uh, floor launchers. So I have I have this floor launcher for five times impact. We use that for Frost Knight. I have the one that's three times impact. Then I have one that's um, four impact and one reload, which I haven't leveled all the way up. But the wall lights max. So basically all we need to do... The only traps I don't have maxed are... I guess the campfire. I don't use healing pads. This doesn't really matter if you max it out. And then I have, I think I have three wall launchers too. So we got the normal with the three impact, two reload. Then we got five impact. And then I think I have, yeah, this one's four impact. Extra broadsides. Um, yeah. So that's all that. Uh, is there anything else? <clears throat> I don't know if there's really a point. Oh, look, this could be recycled. Got any more junk in here? These traps need to be placed in my SSD just to get rid of them. If you didn't know, you can place junk traps you get out of um, chests. Or from expeditions, you can put them in your storm shield. Any one of your storm shields that you're not using or even if you are using them and recycle them and get back maximum rewards for it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess I could show you my storage since everybody likes to show off their storage. <clears throat> 20k brick, 15k metal, 200 maxed out gas traps. What do we got? Do I have any bright? Let's see if we have any bright core over here I can transfer. Since I don't actually use bright core or sunbeam. All right, so what do we have? We have 776 bright core, 718 sunbeam, <clears throat> tons of obsidian, tons of shadow shard, lots of tier five mats because I really just don't use tier five anything. Um, even in the high, even in the higher level missions they added, I still don't use tier five anything. So lots of that stacked up. So basically, I have enough. I have enough resources for for just like. I don't need to. I don't need to farm or anything for any anytime soon. Transfer that over there. Transfer that over there. Lots of pretty much everything. So yeah, that's that. Got tons of nuts and bolts, which are just silly. Tons of uh, yeah. I think we're good on pretty much everything. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, yeah, so transforms, lots of junk in here. 
What do we got llama-wise today? <clears throat> a lucky llama. It didn't go gold. Pirate llamas, items, bought everything out of the item shop that's worth buying. Like I said, I stopped buying some of this stuff because... Like, this stuff, I just don't even use it, so there's no point in buying it. So, yeah, that's about it. I also have... <clears throat> I think we got we got one legendary troll stash, and I think the rest are all upgrades. So I'm saving these. I've not I have not had to use them yet to get stuff for an event. They're basically being saved in case they bring back the birthday event this year. In which case, I'll just open up all those to get birthday tickets, and then be able to get whatever I'm missing. Which at this point, I'm gonna have all the heroes. I think there might just be some weapons here or there that I might have missed. Um, so I have pretty much I have pretty much one of everything in the game. Um, I think the only thing I'm missing, like I showed, I showed those, so event schematics, I got all the flintlock. There are so, there are a couple things I'm missing. Do I have all these? No, yeah, I have all those. <clears throat> so I do not have a silent specter. So I need a silent specter, although I do have a I do have a... I, I could take this out and upgrade it, but there's no point because the Silent Spectre should be coming back. So I need the Silent Spectre, the Quad Launcher, the Hacksaw, the Bobcat, and the Tiger. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing those five weapons. I think I have most of the other weapons in the game. At least one of them, or they're in the collection book. From what I call... I'm not sure if I have a Tube Sniper mech. Do I have a Tube Sniper? I don't know. And then we got, what do we have, expansion? I think I have all the expansion people. The neon weapons just got added recently, so I have one, at least one of each one of those. And when I say I have one, that means I normally have a legendary, so. Vendor tech, I think the only, th I think I'm missing the, uh, am I missing the vendor tech blaster? I don't think I have a vendor tech blaster, but that can actually be researched, so if I wanted to pull that, I could pull that. Hydraulic weapons, I think I have all of them, yeah. I have one of every scavenger weapon. So yeah, I th like I said, I think I have... I would say at this point I'm at like 95 to 98% of everything in the game I have. Missing a couple couple heroes, six heroes that I need to max out whenever they come back. And they should be soon because they're blockbuster and shadow ups and it's about time for them to come back. And then I'm missing a couple of the military weapons. Everything after the military set, everything after blockbuster, I have... I got everything. That's when I started playing a lot, so I managed to get everything. But yeah, so that's everything I got. 336 days, um, max level. Did I even show? I don't even know. 131, I got maximum offense, maximum tech, because my, I got, I got, I don't know if I got lucky, but my, the mythics I managed to put in, the, myth, the mythic uh, Carolina is in my offense for fire team alpha, and then my mythic Joel, right? Joel is in the think tank, so. Yep, there's that. And like I said, everything's matching. So I did spend a lot of time on that. But yeah, that's that's that. Um, 3,685 V-Bucks. So I got plenty of V-Bucks now. And uh, I don't know. Is there anything else to show? Do we have boosts? Nothing. I mean, we're close to getting 50 drops of rain. Um, I don't know if it shows the daily rewards for tomorrow now. So yeah, there's that's like I said. We got 1,000 V-Bucks. So in 336 more days... We'll be here again if I'm still if I'm still playing the game if the game's still around I'm sure it will be, um, but yeah. And of those three three hundred thirty six days, there was lots of days I didn't play, especially at the beginning. I played on and off, and I've been playing since it's been more. I mean, it's probably been it's been more than a year. So like, there's plenty of days I didn't log in at all, where I forgot to log in or I was away and couldn't log in. So three hundred thirty six days logged in. I'd probably say I played. 75% of those days, at least 75%. So there's, that's what, like 300? So that's not too bad. That's about 10 missions a day when I completed 34 or 45 or something like that. Plus I have a second account that is also in Twine that's level 90, either 90 or 92, I can't remember, somewhere in that range. Um, I managed to do that with doing less than 500 missions, so I pretty much streamlined that. Didn't solo it a lot of it, so. But yeah, got everything unlocked. I guess we could take a look. Let's see with the... This might be the... So they're supposed to be fixing all these missions. So we won't be seeing Survivor XP in these higher... Look at this. This is pretty funny. Four times Reperk's not too bad if it was giving a decent amount of Reperk. Four times Hero. 
They're, so they're allegedly going to get rid of all these XPs here. I, I mean, that's what they've said. So, so far there's been one non-XP. I think that's pretty funny. Four times survivor. We got lots of survivor. Jesus, Moses. There's a lot of survivor XP here. So, but that's that. And, oh, I've completed... I'm going to do... I might be doing Twine SSD 10 tomorrow because the because the SSD changes are coming the following day. Um, and then if, real quick, I can show you... Might as well just go backwards. So, Canny... Canny, I did all 10. I soloed... I think I soloed 6 through 10 on there. I soloed 2 through 9 on Twine. And then Plankerton... I did all 10. Stonewood... Did all 10. Real quick, we can load into my stone one if you want to see my soccer field. So this is another thing. Like, one we were bored one day, so we ended up building um, building a soccer field in here, which I did a video on. But if you haven't already seen it, we might as well just load in there real quick while I'm still talking, so we can uh, see my super fancy soccer field. Plus, I got to put traps down anyway. I'll end the video before I do that. I'm not going to make you guys watch me place junk traps. Launch me into the storm shield defense. There we go. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm probably going to do 20 SSD 10. Uh, I just have to build for one amplifier. I know what I need to do. So that shouldn't be too bad. And between the two accounts, I have soloed every SSD. Have I? I sold on well, my second account. I've soloed S I sold it, sold it Stonewood, Plankerton and Canny one through six and twine one on this account. I did two through nine on twine. So once I do 10 tomorrow, that'll be all the twines. Um, I've done all the cannies at this point. I guess I just need to solo Stonewood seven through ten on both accounts. I can't even remember if I did that. I know I didn't do. I know I didn't do. I know I didn't do Plankerton ten. I might have did Plankerton seven, eight, nine by myself on this account. I can't remember. I mean, I certainly could do them, but there's just they are what they are. They're not that difficult. So, well, real quick, we're gonna load into here. <clears throat> we'll show you what my super special. Uh, we got our soccer field, which we messed around with. Before I show you that, we'll show you. Um... So that's where I place my junk traps. All these other things. There's 45. There's there's 45,000 wood stored. So all those, every one of those, I break down. If I break the steps, I'll get back 5,000 wood. So I got 45k wood stored in there. Uh oh. And yeah, this is the soccer field, which we did use for a little bit. This takes you down to the. Um down here in case you need to get any resources and then we can go down here so I built this with a couple friends there's probably there's probably I don't even know 40 or 50 thousand stone in this maybe more so yeah here's our soccer field fully decked out um, can go up top and take a look real quick Get our bird's eye view here. Puts put windows in to let some sunlight through, so we got a little bit of uh, sun action going on there. We got a sky sky roof in the middle, so in case you want to do your, if you want to celebrate, you can do um, like you can throw up the hover turrets, but that's kind of silly. So you can do the what is it? The uh, airstrike fits almost perfectly right through there. Um, the way it's designed is the ball will come up and uh, most of the time will roll back out. If not, you can always just edit. Whoops! You can always edit these to get them out. Um, but yeah, so I think it's I think it's 100% symmetrical. So that's what I spent a lot of time doing. This looks like it's messed up. That's interesting. Oh, there's probably something behind it. But yeah, pretty cool. We spent time doing. We spent a couple days doing this when their missions were not that great. And uh, if you didn't know, there's a soccer field actually over here. So the reason we did this was because of the soccer field that's over here. <clears throat> So there is a soccer field over here and the scoreboard does update. So when we play, we bring the soccer ball in here and just dribble it over there. So the, as you can see, what's it? it says it's uh, two to one. So we'll just dribble down here and score a goal. It's a little bit tough to actually dribble. So we score the goal. That updates, that's pretty cool. Oh, it changes, yeah. Does it only go up? That's interesting. It should have went up to three. I wonder if they both do that. I've never tried this. Oh, they go back to zero, zero. All right, so real the reason why we did this was because 
Am I gonna score? I don't wanna score. I don't wanna score. You can't build on the soccer field. You also can't build behind it. So if you dribble the ball over here and it falls off the map, it's gone. It doesn't respawn and you have to like back out and come all the way back in. So in order to avoid that, because you can't build on the soccer field at all and you can't even build over here, I don't know where you can build. Where's the first spot you can build? Yeah, you can't even build to like all the way over there. So the reason we did that was because um, the ball would just fall off all the time. So there's that. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be awesome to see what everybody else has gotten when they've gotten to 336 days logged in. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to do Twine SSD 10 tomorrow. Then I've completed literally everything in the game other than like literally the only thing I haven't done is some of the 100 plus twine missions that are the um that are placeholders right and then i need to get i haven't gotten all the banners so i need to get i'll have the exploration badge within a couple days if i play and then we got the survivor badge and then we got the survivor badge is going to take a while i'm not sure if i'll ever get to play with others anybody who gets to play with others deserves uh, a super 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 banner because playing 1000 missions in public especially now like if you did it eight months ago a year ago a year and a half ago wouldn't have been that bad but now the public lobbies are just like really dicey on whether or not you get a good team or any team at all um so yeah there's that so i don't know maybe they'll change them and make it where you can just pick ssds and then i could do 600 ssds but like i said yeah i'm still i still got to do a couple more of these which are just placeholders like i said and then 20 ssd 10 i got dailies built up then these are the three challenges so I'll have that knocked out in a couple days. These two are going to take a little bit longer. It's a lot. It's actually hundreds of uh, survivor missions if I just did those just to get those. And I save survivors all the time. But anyway, did the pirate quest line. I've done every quest line after Blockbuster. So road trip forward. I've completed every quest line, got everything. Um, so here's that. There's that. I do have the the what is this? The ultimate edition. So I did upgrade to the ultimate edition a while, like about a year. What was it? Sometime, I think it was around Fort Nightmare, so I guess October of last year. October, November is when I upgraded to the full Ultimate, so I have everything from that. And there's that's that, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, you can hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it if you do that. I put out videos on a regular basis. And uh, if you want to see some Save the World action or other, other games, because I do play some other games from time to time, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash MediocreMilton. So thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video. See you later.